Oh, aye. I think your bottom does look big in that. I like that, no. Ha ha ha. Welcome to another video, you scrub jobby farts. And uh, I'll be talking about Spider Man Remastered PS5. Was a PS4 game, now a PS5 Remastered game. Can I buy it physically? God's sake. But you can get it when you buy Miles Morales Special Edition, which is still really expensive for some reason, even though it's been out for nearly three years. Blah. So I'll be talking about the likes, loves and hates of this game, of which there are a couple in each direction. <laughs> the loves, it's like a, a an Arkham game, there's lots of fighting, the fighting's deeply satisfying. You get finishing moves, when you get enough upgrades you can have two for the price of one. Always good. You get so many wee gadgets, you get like... Your web shooters, and you can upgrade all of these, you get a spider butt, you get like a spider bomb, sorry, a web bomb. You get electrified web, you get impact web, which is like a, it's like an artillery web. Kind of weird, but it's good. Then you've got all your upgrade paths, of which there are three, and if you played the game enough, you can unlock all three of them throughout the game. And it'll give you various things, like, more power to your swinging, being able to yank guns out of enemies' horns, be able to, you know, do ground pounds, and I don't really know how that works, but wouldn't he really shatter his knees and elbows if he did ground pounds? Who knows? I'm no, a, I'm not an expert on Spider-Man activity. I just know that I like the game and it's good and it's well worth a playthrough, even. Even if you're not a big fan of Spider-Man like myself, I'm not a big fan of Spider-Man. I couldn't care less. The movies are good though. Games, well, the modern games are good. I haven't played a lot of the older ones. I remember I played a Spider-Man game called Friend or Foe. That was quite enjoyable. It was like a side-scroller. Only with 3D graphics. Very strange. <laughs> Very strange. And it was an Xbox 360 game and PS2. You know, so it must have looked like shite if it was PS2. Something like that. It's jobby! So Miles Morales pre-Spider-Man powers us in this along with Magic Johnson, not Mary J. Watson. Magic Johnson. Huh? Eh? And their missions in this game are what I don't like. Because they're stealth missions. You need to sneak about and, you know, distract people. <laughs> it's fucking pish is what it is. And then you get caught and you get thrust back to the beginning of the fucking thing. And I'm just like, no, that's just no. And then, oh, it's just, oh mate, it's just annoying. I don't like their missions. They, there's only a couple each, thankfully. Another gripe is that they've got the Sinister Six in the game, right? But they're, they're in it right at the very end and you get a small boss section for each of these characters. And it's like, why were they left as like an afterthought? I don't, I don't understand. Right, fucking at the end of this Spider-Man game, I forgot to mention uh, that there's a really boring bit with fucking Scorpion, and he's um, he poisons you, and you start hallucinating, and you have to go through this hallucinatory level. It's pish. It's boring as fuck. I hate these things. I hate them in any game, and just about all of them have. A hippy, trippy, dippy, do shitty bit like this. Max Payne's go to it. Fucking Batman Arkham's go to it. Shite, stop this. Oh, I and go to mention. This game's got a photo mode. <laughs> the main uh, villain of the game is somebody called Mr. Negative. I mean, literally turns into a f negative, like a photographic negative, but somehow he's got some sort of laser power. I don't understand what that even negative shock, you're like, oh, I'll change your perspective in life. You'll think it's even more shite. You're like, no thanks, stick that up your ass. Don't get it, don't understand why they did that, but here we are. I do really like the designs of the Sinister Air 6. Uh, that's pretty good. Uh, there's, there's, there's other things in it that I don't like, that I can't remember. The stealth sections with Spider-Man are actually pretty fun. The challenges are an annoyance. Taskmaster's in this game. He's a wank. He's like, I'm, I'm gonna leather you, Spider-Man. I'm like, oh, don't fucking think so, pal. I've got precognition, you bastard. 
and I kicked his ass. So that's what happens. Uh, then you do all these wee shite challenges that are kind of, you know, the combat ones are pretty good, but everything else just irritates the life out of me. And then you'll kick his ass again and he'll fuck off. You're like, oh, wonderful, that's, that's, that's um, a smashing. You get like 800,000 suits in the game. One of them looks like Ghost Rider. He's white and he's a skull and he's on fire. And I'm like, the fuck is this? Very strange. Very, very strange, actually. I'll I'll bring it up on the fucking... I'll bring it up on the thing. It's, it's the Spirit Spider. What? What the fuck is that? The Spirit Spider. It looks cool, actually. I, I do, actually. Like, I think I'm going to go with that one. The Spirit Spider. I'll pretend I'm doing the pen and stare at these wallopers. And then there's all sorts of other ones. There's, like, the ones at the movies and... The new one they made for the game, and then there's ones where you've got like a Fantastic Four suit on and a fucking paper bag in your head. Not really quite sure what that's all about. Uh, but they're like the the Amazing Spider-Man, the Andrew Garfield ones here, the Tobey Maguire suits here, the Tom Holland suits here, the Iron Spider suits here. It's just ha, oh, it's tons and tons of shit. There's homemade ones. There's fucking. There's, there's, there's ones for Spider-Man 2099 white suit. What else we go here? Vintage comic book suit. You look like an actual print from a comic book. That's cool, man. That's fucking, that's imagine. I'm going to start greeting. Stealth suit, big time. Whatever the fuck that means. You've even got one where it looks like a punk rocker. Looks like an absolute wank, but I'm not no fucking putting that thing on. And then one of my other personal favourite suits. It's the Spider Armour Mark II suit. It looks like something like a fucking Tron Legacy, which I dig. I dig it a lot. So, aye. The side missions aren't that great. They're okay. There's not a lot of side uh, villains in it. There's Taskmaster and there's some guy called Tombstone, whoever the fuck he is. And then you get the Sinister Six at the end of the game, which was a bit of a silly thing to do. And, and Mr. Negative, I guess he just wanted to shine a light on a more unknown villain. So, they've done that with her. Yay! Brilliant fucking smashing. That's, that's Spider-Man. That's Spider-Man for, well, I think it's 2015 this came out. The remaster came out three years ago. I've heard that they're going to be putting it on general sale and it's only what they should have done in the beginning. Fair enough. Bundle it with Miles Morales for 70 quid. That's fine. You get two games. I don't have a problem with that. Should have put it on disc, but should have been two discs we go out there. Sony being cheapskates yet again. And then going, oh, digital gaming's better. <laughs> That's because we control the narrative. If we don't want you to play a game, you're fucked up your ass now. 